On our user profile page, we are going to list all of our statuses that we've currently posted. And what we're going to do is include the reply box on here if we're friends with the person who we're viewing the profile. So if that doesn't make sense, we'll, we'll see how this works in a moment. It's just a nice way to see just only my statuses and then my friends can reply to them rather than having to do it on their timeline amongst all the noise of other users. So this is going to involve a little bit of code repetition and you can go ahead and challenge yourself to break these up into partials and see how reusable you can make things. But for now, just so we can quickly get it on here, we're going to be copying and pasting a lot of the logic and a lot of the markup from the timeline view. So first of all, over on our profile controller, what we actually need to do is pull in all of this user's pro, uh, this statuses. So under here, we'll create a statuses variable and we'll say user statuses. That's our relationship that gives us all our statuses. We don't want to include replies. We just want our own statuses, not what we've replied to. And we're going to grab all of them. And you can paginate these if you want. I'll let you decide. So we're also going to send through the statuses to the view as well. So that will be them statuses we just pulled in. And what we're also going to do is pass in a auth user is friend variable. You can make that a little bit shorter if you want. And all this is going to do is be a true or false value is the is the user that's currently viewing this profile our friend. And we already have the method in this now user object. So we just say is friends with that user. So now what we can do is over on our um, our index, uh, not on our timeline index, on our profile index page here uh, or around here, we can output our statuses. So our statuses will go here. So what I'm going to do is referencing my timeline view. I'm going to go ahead and see just here. I'm going to copy this if statement. We're going to remove, you know, some of this. If we just go down to here, copy and paste all of this onto here, and we'll just tidy it up. We'll make sure that's indented properly as well. So remember, we are passing through. We can close this off now. We're passing through statuses. So we're saying if statuses count is nothing, there's nothing in, and then we need kind of like a more, uh, a kind of better signifier, like Alex hasn't posted anything yet. So we can say X hasn't posted anything yet. And we can obviously substitute this with the current user's profile. So user, and that is get first name or username. So otherwise, we want to loop through all of the statuses that we have. We are going to show the replies as well. And then at the end, we're going to show the form only if the user is friends with that user. And we can get rid of these pagination links because we're not paginating this just yet. So for each status is as status, let's just go and run this and see what we get. So we get, oh, oh we've got a syntax area there. That's probably on the profile controller. And let's just have a look here. Just check where that is. So on profile control line 23, of course, we don't have this. It's not an array. So let's fix these two up like that. And let's see what we get. Well, we actually now get the status that I have. So we can see that on my timeline there. What a nice, uh, oh, hi, everyone. If I was over on uh, Billy's account and uh, I replied to this, uh, my name is Billy, for example, just so we know what status we're talking about. You'll see that over now on my individual profile, we have that reply there. So everything works as normal. We've just literally copied and pasted this. But if we are signed in uh, as a user that isn't our friend, so for example, Dale, let's go ahead and sign out of Billy's account and sign in as Dale's account. Go ahead and type in the password. And we'll go and find Alex here. There we go. So we can see this reply and we basically if we send a reply through, this isn't going to work because uh, Dale isn't Alex's friend. So we want to get rid of this. So remember over in profile controller, auth user is friend. We have this variable. So all we want to do is for this form that we can reply to, we just want to say if auth user is friend and bring the dollar sign. And then we can go ahead and end that if statement there, pull that in. And then we go ahead and refresh and that goes because obviously this is um, my own profile. So we can modify this if we go over to our index page. 
if auth user is friend or auth user ID equals the status ID, then we can show the form because I can reply to my own post. So just write great reply to that and there we go. So now if I was signed in as Billy, so if I go and sign in as Billy into my password and head over to Alex's profile, I can go ahead and say whatever, reply to that and there we are, we're done. So we're now showing this on my own profile page. Once again, if I go over to a user that I'm not friends with, I can see the status, but I can't reply to it. I'm gonna to have to add Dale as a friend to do that. So there is a quite a bit of code repetition here. So like I said, challenge yourself to kind of break this up. We're repeating our, our uh, user avatar and all that kind of stuff again and again and again. And also for these replies as well. So you could break all these up and just include them as requires and uh, you'd have some nice reusable templates.